Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Yanni, and as you can see, I am in a different recording space. I'm actually in my bedroom because I wanted to record this with some space because this is a lot. If you can see, there are boxes on top of my bed because I did a huge, huge summer haul. This is basically makeup that has accumulated probably in the last month and I haven't opened any of them and I haven't been able to play with any of them. Um, I got these all on sale. Ulta is throwing a really big sale right now. They're doing the, I think it's 21 Days of Beauty. I have to check it out. I'll let you know down in the description box. I got Sephora from the VIB sale. I had, um, I got Walgreens because they're throwing their version of like the 21 days of beauty Kohl's because they're doing their version of like the 21 days of beauty We have Target who is also throwing a really big sale um, And I got some new makeup that I wanted to try and I even got some Stuff from Walmart and it's all new makeup. It's all stuff that I want to try and um, Some is going into my makeup kit some is for me, some I'm going to try out. So yeah, I even have some accessories there. I got some Halloween stuff for the fall because you know I love Halloween. And then I also am going to throw in some random things that I bought that are still beauty related. Um, and I did get some accessories um, from Bath & Body Works. So yeah, so enough rambling there. If you guys want to see the huge haul of makeup that I got then grab a snack grab a bottle of water and keep on watching. To start out this haul I'm going to show you the bundle that I say bundle that started it all so I wanted to get back to my one brand makeup first impressions you guys know I already did wet and wild I did elf and I did essence so I wanted to do Milani I didn't have any Milani products and Milani foundation the perfect and conceal foundation it is my absolute 100% it's my favorite foundation of all so I was like you know what I don't have any products from Milani except that foundation let me go ahead and buy um, all the items so I can do a full face all Milani products and I can do a review and I wanted to do all one brand so it isn't a Sephora bag because I accidentally threw out my Target box that had it because I bought this all on Target.com. So I have a ton of stuff. I got the Prime Shield Primer. I got the Brow Precise Micro Pencil and this is in the color Deep Brown. I got the Milani Infinite Liquid Liner. This is in Everlast. It's like a really deep black. Then I got the um, Milani Easy Brow. This is the brow pencil, and then this is the micro brow pencil. Oh wait, this is actually by Maybelline. This doesn't belong in there. <laughs> this is the Milani Easy Brow pencil. Where did you come from? Hmm. Then I also got the Lash Trifecta Lengthens, Separates, and Curls. This is their mascara. I was excited to try that. I got the Retouch and Erase um, Medium Light Concealer. It's a brightening concealer. Then I got oops, these. This one came out. So this is um, the Stay Put Brow Color. I've heard so many people rave about this. So I wanted to try it. And this, I don't know where my little jar is. Here it goes. This is in the color brunette, so it was 04 brunette, and it's like a brow pomade. So um, I'm not fond of the creams and stuff like that. I really do like powders, but they said, you know, 16 hour wear, so hey, why not try it? Then I also got the Milani Strobe Light Sun Glow Highlighter. I also got the Waterproof Pencil. The Milani Stay Put Waterproof Pencil, and this is in Linked On Black. Obviously, this is my Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in 04 Medium Beige, which I probably should go a shade lighter, but 
for now this is what I've been using I got this is my absolute favorite the make it last this was the other thing that I got from Milani I went through my bottle and I had to replace it so I got that and then for eyeshadow I got this Milani plum basics this is the 04 this is their small little um, eyeshadow palette. I actually want to get the larger one that is exclusive just to Walmart. Um, I'll probably be getting that sometime later this month. Then I also got a blush. This is the Blossom Time Rose Blush. And then I got the Dolce Baked Bronzer. And then for lips, I went relatively simple. You guys know I love mauves. And I went with the color, this is their liquid lipstick in love. And I believe this is a matte lipstick. Yep, Amore Matte Lip Cream. This is in the color love. And then this one, their bullet lipstick, Milani. Or excuse me, not Milani. <laughs> this is in the color, this is just 61. And it says matte as well. And this is the color naked. So that is everything that I got that is... Milani um, so that was this is basically the bundle that started out into this huge thing the next bundle that we're gonna go through is what I got from Kohl's so Kohl's had a really big sale going on and they actually still have it going on till through this weekend and I am gonna pick up a couple of elf products because now they do carry elf and BH cosmetics and NYX so I really did stock up on a few things these were already clearanced out and I'm actually going to use them as items for giveaways. So I got these are by the brand Lick and these are lip wipes and I got these for like 75 cents each. They come with six lip wipes. So I figured I can just kind of throw these in my makeup kit, keep one for me, you know. So I got those. So I got five of those. Then I got these two. These are the NYX Plus Plush Gel Lipsticks. And this is a three-piece set. Um, this has the color Busy Berries, Sharp Femme, and Sacred Mix. And then this one has Azalea, Coral Mist, and Karma Kiss. And if you guys have noticed, yes, my nail finally broke. I'm really upset about it. Um, I have to figure out what to do if I should just trim them all or put a tip on it. But we're just going to keep on going. Then I also got these three, and I know you guys have seen these. These came out during the holidays, but they were clearance down to like such a really good price. And these are relatively neutral palettes. So this one is a lip, eye, and face collection. This is the London one. So, oops. Comes with a mirror, which is really, really cute. This is good for on the go when you're going out. So you got a highlighter, you got a blush, you've got a liquid lip, and then you have an eyeshadow um, quad so I think that's really really cute and this is good as a gift for anybody so I am gonna be either re-gifting these or not re-gifting but gifting them out or putting them in a giveaway this one is Los Angeles which is the same thing see it has this one has more of a bronzer type color bronzer highlight your quad and then you also have your lip cream and then this one is Berlin which is Oh, which is possibly my favorite and I didn't realize that this broke this one is like a deeper for a deeper toned um, person you got the blush highlight your quad and a lip color and your mirror so yes we've got those going and then finally the last two items that I got were this perfect pow holiday kit and this I had been looking at for a while this comes with a lip oh, excuse me a lip liner a liquid lip and then what they call an effects jar and the effects jar is basically um, sort of like a glitter to kind of contrast your lips so I got that and then because I wear a lot of matte lipsticks I also got this lip mask from Lick this is in the color blushing I love lip masks Bite Beauty has the best lip masks but I wanted to try this one out so that is what I got from Kohl's. The next one we're gonna do is Sephora. So in Sephora I got a lot of stuff during the VIB sale but I also get the Play by Sephora box every month so they send me in that box a 50 point um, Play 
pass. So I usually go in store and I pick up something and I use or I redeem my 50 points. So I just kind of added it all in here. So these are, of course, my Sephora samples, which I love. And this is a beauty and skin one, I believe. Yeah, this is skin and hair care that I got for purchasing over $25. So on that, the first thing that I got in here, which I was super excited because I'm trying my best before they discontinue them all to make my Urban Decay Naked um, collection. So this is the very first Urban Decay Naked eyeshadow palette. I was so excited that they put this on sale because I was like, yes, I want to get this. So I got this, um, being that they are discontinuing the first palette. So I have to go ahead and get, I think there's two more palettes that I need to get. So this one is the Naked palette. Then on top of that, um, I did get, you guys are gonna kill me, got two more eyeshadow palettes. So I got, I don't have anything from the Sephora brand. So I got the colorful eyeshadow filter palette, the Sun Bleached Filter palette which is a really pretty summery type of palette so I got this one Oops. then last but not least on the eyeshadow palettes I've always wanted this eyeshadow palette I don't know why but I just thought it was the most prettiest thing ever <gasps> my baby woke up and I was super obsessed with this palette when it first came out I thought it was so so pretty this is the Too Faced white peach palette and I hardly have any Too Faced stuff I mean, I have some of the sample stuff that was sent to me, but I don't have any eyeshadows. I think I have just one, the chocolate bar palette. That's the only eyeshadow palette that I have. But I wanted to try some more products from them, so I got that. And what else? I am the queen of minis. You guys know that I love minis because, I don't know, I'm obsessed with just mini stuff. I like to try things out before I buy things full price because, you know, makeup can be expensive. And I'm a mom of five, so I can't just go and, like, splurge on so much stuff. A lot of the stuff I got with coupons, discounts, promotional offers, points, you know, a lot of lot of discounts on this I never pay full price for anything so I know this seems like a lot of makeup but I gotta tell you I got discounts on everything um, but yeah so I got the Fenty Beauty bomb baby mini lip and face set this is the freestyle highlighter in kilowatt that everybody has been talking about so I was like I'm gonna try it and I couldn't wait because it came out in this cute little like mini and then it has the Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer, and I was like super excited. I was like, yes, I get to try something from Fenty Beauty. So I got that. Then the other mini that I got was the bronzed and sculpted um, from Benefits. And this has the Quickie Contour Stick, the Strobe Illuminizer, and in What's Up. And then you have the Hula Benefits Bronzer. So I already have the Hula Bronzer and I really, really love it. I love it for contouring. It's really, really pretty. You have to take a light hand because it's very, very pigmented, but I love having backups. So this is so cool. I want to try their contour stick and I wanted to try their strobe stick. So that's what I got. I got this one. And then I got the Tarte Ready Set Radiant um, Skin Mist. I am obsessed with this mist. I love the scent. I love the way that the mist sprays. I love the luminous glow that it gives. It doesn't give like that crazy dewiness, but when I have a matte foundation on, oh my gosh, and I put this on top, it just kind of melts everything into the skin. My highlight looks beautiful. My face looks illuminated. I am obsessed with this skin mist. So yes, I went ahead and I bought another one. And then last but not least at Sephora, I got the Liquid Beauty Blender, the Beauty, excuse me, the Liquid Blender Cleanser. So I tried this as a um, sample and I love the way that it cleaned my sponges. Oh my God, it left them like absolutely spotless. So I went ahead and I bought this for cleaning my sponges because you guys know that I love the solid cleanser from Sephora for my brushes but this is for my sponges so yeah so that takes care of everything that I got at Sephora and this was 
with the VIB sale and some of the coupons that I received from the monthly play passes. Okay, so our next box is the stuff that I got from Target. So this I got as a recommendation from Juicy Jazz. Um, I've never used Profusion Cosmetics. So she went ahead and did a Target haul and she got this. And I was super intrigued. And I love the look that she created with it. And this was on sale for like 30% off and it was like super duper cheap. So I was like, hey, why not try some new makeup? But yeah, so I got this and this is a, says it includes 15 eyeshadows, two blushes, a highlight contour bronzer, a blending brush, lip topper, and an eyeliner pencil. And I got this for $9.99, I believe. So look at that, that is amazing, I mean, I can do so many looks and look at the pan sizes on these shadows and then I mean you get a lip color you get a brush you get an eyeliner you get bronzers highlight blushes I mean this is awesome for the price I can't wait to dip into this and like just play so that was my first one then I went ahead and ooh, got this and this was their Mixed Metals Eyes and Lip. And I believe I got this also for, I wanna say it was like $9.99 or $7.99. And this says it comes with nine, uh, nine shade eyeshadow palettes, a matte lip liner, a metal matte lip cream, and a blending shadow brush. So you got the lip liner, the brush, the lip cream, and check this out. like. If those colors don't scream fall to you, like, I don't know what does. Like, this is incredibly amazing. And it's, like, super cheap. Like, why would you pass that up? So, I am excited to try out this new cosmetic company. And those are the only two things that I got from Target, aside from, like, my, my whole Milani <laughs> bundle. But, yeah. On to the Ulta box. So in my Ulta box, I got quite a few things because, like I said, they're throwing, they're running their 21 Days of Beauty, and I had some points and coupons and discounts, so I did pick up a couple things. So I picked up, of course, my LA Girl Shady Slim Backup Pencil. No, I love my eyebrow pencil. This is like my absolute favorite pencil of all time. Like, hands down, favorite pencil. This compares to the Brow Wiz for me. Like I, the ABH Brow Wiz, oh my god, you don't understand. Love it. So then I also got, obviously I bought the two Maybelline Brow Pencils. I think I bought one from Target. I, I'm pretty sure I brought one from Target and then I bought one from Ulta. But nonetheless, I got those pencils to try out as well. Then I got two backup sponges because this is my all-time favorite sponge to work with like this this sponge is incredible it has a flat surface and it has a rounded bottom so the rounded bottom I use to pounce my foundation I use this flat top to go underneath my eyes with concealer I even use the other side to put powder to chisel out my contour I mean this is such a versatile sponge and it was on sale and I had to get it. I had to get backups because I had ripped my original one. So yes, had to get extras. So I got those. Then I got this little bundle because this was also on sale and this comes with a large sponge and a mini sponge. So I was excited because... I don't know I had one that's like gray and burgundy that I got during the holidays and I love it so I was like you know what I might as well get this one it was on sale so I got that as well then I went ahead and I got here the Maybelline fit me concealer in the color San Sable which is number 20 because I have the fit me foundation and I have the fit me powder but I don't have the concealer so I was like well I need a new concealer to try out I'm running low on my other ones why not buy this one so that's what I did so I got that I also went ahead and purchased the epic ink liner from NYX I got the brown and I got the black you guys know that this is my all-time favorite 
liquid liner pen. It has a brush tip. It is easy to work with. I love it. I think I actually think that this one works a lot better than the Kat Von D one. I have been using the Kat Von D one as of lately, but for some reason, I like this one more. And I wanted to try the brown one, being that we're coming into the fall months, and I don't really have a brown liquid liner or a brown liner. So went into that because I want to do some nice fall looks. Then I went ahead and I got the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. This is the Hangover RX. I got this because everybody raves about it. It has um, coconut water, probiotic based ingredients, skin revivers, proactive nourishing, um, silicone free. So I've been using the little minis that came in like the kits and I like the way that it works and it was on sale during the beauty steals. So I went ahead and picked it up. I also got this. I don't have anything from Dose of Colors. So I got this Dose of Colors lip gloss because this was on sale during the beauty steals for $10 versus I think they're like $19 each. And this is in the color Just My Type, which is like, you know, pinky mauve. That's my color. I am obsessed with pinky mauves. So I got that. This is my first Dose of Colors purchase and I'm excited about it. Then, this is the biggest purchase of all. So I went a little crazy. You guys know that I'm obsessed with Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild. I think that they have really upped their game back from when I was younger and they were putting out their, uh, their cosmetics. So I picked up um, the Dual Ended Contour Stick, which I already have the light one, so I went ahead and bought the medium one because I really like the contour color and I wanted to try this one, so I got that. And then I got this Poster Child um, eyeshadow palette because this one is basically all mattes. Well, four, five of them are mattes and like three of them are like satins. And it's really colorful and I actually loved it because the other ones that I have they are all like shimmery so I wanted to pick this one up and play around with it and I got that then you guys check out what I got Ooh, my samples so I got the wet and wild fire dragon versus ice dragon collection so if you guys don't know i am absolutely obsessed with game of thrones i love game of thrones i am team stark team targaryen i am a mix of both and knowing that Jon snow is half targaryen half stark let me tell you it's super exciting for me so nonetheless here we go this is why i got obsessed with this this kit and i wanted it and they threw a sale and i was like yes yes i have to get it so let's open this baby up so you can see what's inside i mean i'm sure you guys have seen a billion and one tutorials because i think a million and one people have done looks on these um two you know fire versus ice but nonetheless i'm going to show you anyway so let's take this and open this so this is how the kit looks. Like, if this doesn't make you excited, I don't know what will. Like, this is incredible. You've got two eyeshadow palettes, one fire, one ice. You get two pigments for the fire side, two pigments for the ice side. You get two bronzers for the fire side, and then two bronze, uh, excuse me, two highlights for the ice side. You get two liquid lips for the fire, and two liquid lips for the ice. Like this is an incredible like little kit. Like I don't even think I wanna open it, I just wanna like showcase it. Like you don't even understand how excited I was to get this. So that's the kit that I got. And it did come with limited edition brushes, but those were sold separately. And yes, if you're wondering if I picked them up, yes, yes I did. So, those were exclusive, I believe, to Walgreens. And that's where we're gonna move on to next. So being that the brushes were exclusive, I believe, to Walgreens, because I didn't find them on Ulta, 
Um, and I didn't find them at Walmart. So, and I didn't even find the collection at Walmart. It was just exclusive, I believe, to Walgreens. And then Ulta just finally got it in. But uh, nonetheless, I did get the brushes. So it's a bronzer and a highlight brush. The bronzer brush is the fire side. And then the highlighting brush is the ice side. So I had to complete the collection. So I had to get these. So, and these are limited edition, so I did get them to go with my collection. Now, on to my little Walgreens haul. So, I did get quite a few things from Walgreens. Um, this one is not too much makeup. It's more skincare and things. This is kind of like randoms. So, I ended up getting um, a lash kit from KISS. Um, this is the KISS lash 101 because I didn't have a small lash um, scissor and I couldn't find it by itself it always came in the kit so I was like yeah that's fine so it comes with an uh, applicator a glue a trimmer you can do a measure and then it has a set of lashes so I got that I also got the wet and wild instant flawless complexion highlighting and concealing pen so Kathleen Lights used this a lot in the beginning of her channel, and I was like, you know what, let me try. This is in the color A Happy Medium, so, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to try it out. And then they had this gel liner on sale. I like these gel liners from Wet n Wild. I think they're really, really good. This is a gel lip liner. And then the color on this one is, put the sticker over it. Doll in Love Again. So it's like a pale coral color. So I got that. Then I got the Mega Glow Contour Stick from Wet n Wild. And this is an Oaks on You, which is 804A. This is probably like the lightest contour shade that comes in this. So I went ahead and got this because I like their dual ended contour stick. So I wanted to try this out because it's separate. So I got that. And then. I went ahead and got, this is the first thing that I've ever bought from the cosmetic company Jordana. This is their Quick Brow Micro Pencil Dark Brunette. And as you can see, I've already had, I think I've one, two, three new or four new brow products because I'm trying to search for something to come close to my LA Girl Shady Slim. I mean, I love that pencil. I will not stop buying that pencil. I already have two backups to it, but I wanted to see if there's something out there that's going to be close to it. So, you know, I'm not opposed to trying new things. So this is the Jordana Quick Brow Micro Pencil. And I want to see how it works. So I got that. And Jordana is new to my collection. I don't have any cosmetics from them. And they are only exclusively on Walgreens.com, I believe, and at Walgreens stores. I've not seen it anywhere else. So, and then the next thing I got was the e.l.f volume plumping black mascara I have the lengthen and volumizing and lengthening one which I absolutely love so I wanted to try just this one which is the volume plumping so I got that as well and I think that is it as far oh no I got one more thing because they're running a sale on cosmetics buy two get one free so why not buy two get one free right I got the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Metallic Lipstick, and this is in the color Satin Sheets. For some reason, this color kept jumping out at me and jumping out at me and, like, jumping out at me. It's, like, a pretty rose gold to me, and I love rose gold, so I'm not opposed to it. But, like, every time I went to, like, Walgreens, um, Walmart, CVS, anywhere that went while I was at Ulta, like, for some reason, this color kept, like, jumping out at me. Just and I was like, oh, I'll get it, I'll get it, but I never got it, and finally I just went ahead and got it. And that is the only thing that I bought makeup wise. So I did buy here some a nail stuff because um, this was supposed to be used. I bought this a couple days ago. This is the Kiss Precision Nail Glue. It bonds in seconds. So it was to basically fix my broken nail. But as you can see, that's not gonna work because my nail broke off today. But this nail, that's why I have a bandaid on it, is broken. So I'm going to see if I fix it with that. And then we'll go from there. But I need this nonetheless to have it in my nail kit. Now, I did get some new hair ties because my hair ties have gone missing. So I got these from Scrunchy. And they were buy one, get one 50% off. So I got the thick hair ones. 
And then I got one for my little two-year-old who has fine hair. I got him some fine hair ones, which are much smaller, so that he can wear his hair in a man bun. So I got those two. And then I went ahead and bought as well these Studio 35 Beauty Large Poly Bands. This is for when I do braids in my hair or if I'm doing uh, corn rolls, French braid, fish braid, when I put my extensions on and I want to do like a large fish braid or anything like that. Um, I bought these for that and then the rest of the stuff in here is basically skincare so they were having a really big sale on simple and you guys know that I love simple as a brand so I got the simple sensitive skin water boost micellar cleansing water it says with mineral and plant extracts it says no artificial perfumes or color no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin so I am excited to play with this. It says um, this is the dehydrated dry skin formula. I have oily skin, so I'm interested to see how this is going to work on me. But it was on sale, so I went ahead and I bought it. You guys know that I love my Bioderma um, makeup remover. So let's see what happens with this one. So I got that. Then I also got the Simple Dual Effect Eye Makeup Remover. It says cares for eyelashes, dissolves waterproof makeup, and it has no harsh chemicals, like I said, because Simple is all about that. I'm excited for this because I do use a lot of liquid liner and I use mascara and I use, you know, glue for my lashes. So I'm excited to see how this is going to work on my eyes. So I got that. Then I also got the Sensitive Skins Expert Water Boost Micellar Facial Gel Wash. So I got this to try this out because I already have their foaming cleanser. So why not try their micellar facial gel wash and it was on sale like I said and I went ahead and got that and then this one is their hydrating booster with minerals and plant extracts and I'm excited for this this is kind of cool this says I can put this with my moisturizer just gives it like a little bit more of a boost for hydration you know winter is coming yes we don't get a harsh winter in Florida but my skin around here because I have rosacea it does get dry so I'm excited to use this in my moisturizer. Then I got two facial masks because I started that facial mask with Pure Lease and I loved it. I think I'm into masks. I don't know about the clay mask that you put on, but I like these. So these are sheet masks and I got a de-stress sheet mask. Sheet mask. What is that? De-stress sheet mask. This has aloe and multivitamins and it's just one sheet mask and then I got a hydrating sheet mask um, with minerals and plant extract so I got one of each I'm excited these are new so let's see how that works and then last but not least you guys know that I need to stock up on my makeup wipes so I went ahead and I bought two of the makeup wipes I got the regular cleansing facial wipes and then I got the ones that are the micellar cleanser facial wipes you know, I always got to restock. Every time I find them on sale, I go and I restock on them. So that was a little haul that I got from Walgreens. We are almost done, guys. I promise. I told you this was a huge haul. So I picked up the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Luminous Makeup All Day Wear Foundation. And this has a sunscreen of 18, uh, excuse me, SPF 18. And this is the Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel. So I'm excited. This is in the color Soft Sand M2. And then I also picked up their Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. It says Weightless Feel Crease Proof. Mm -hmm. And this is in the color M1-2 Light Medium. So I'm excited to try this. This will be the first time. This is the first two products that I've gotten from Flower Beauty because they're on the higher price side of the drugstore but I've been super super excited to try this so I went ahead and I bought these two products first and I can't wait to dip in and try for my big haul I went ahead and um, I asked my husband if he thought that I would need to get new Halloween makeup because I have a tote full of Halloween makeup but the tote is in storage and he told me that more than likely I'm gonna have to go get new Halloween makeup because of the temperature changes in the storage it's not like an air-conditioned unit it's an outside unit so 
most of my makeup is probably going to be destroyed. I'll actually find out for sure tomorrow, but I went ahead just to get it out of the way and I went ahead and bought new um, Halloween makeup. And this per se isn't just Halloween makeup. This is Halloween inspired makeup. This is all by Wet n Wild. This is their new Halloween line called their Fantasy Makers line. And it comes out every Halloween and they usually come out with new things every um, season or every year. And I really, really enjoyed the couple of things that my husband bought me last year um, when I did my son's Poseidon look. And I did another, a couple other things. So I really wanted to dip in. And being that this can be used anytime during the year, I said, you know what? This is a good investment because I'm a makeup enthusiast anyway. So I do want to dip into starting probably this week doing some Halloween style makeup. I love watching them do it, so I want to try to do it myself and be creative and create my own little Halloween looks. So I did, I do have four pigments or three pigments and two palettes. So I just kind of added to that. So I bought the other two palettes that I was missing, which is the neutrals palette and then the bright palette. And this can be used, like I said, to do any kind of things. You do doll looks, you could do you know there's just a vast amount of things that you can use this for so I'm glad that I'm putting them in my collection I also got their new glitter palettes I went ahead and I got two of them and I got like the two that I thought that I was gonna have the most because I think they have six if it's not four then it's six so I got this one which is the ethereal one because this could be used for like unicorn fairy mermaid type of looks and then this one I got, which is the Heavy Metals. And this can be used for doll, demon, all kinds of that stuff. Then I went ahead because, like I said, my makeup got messed up. I went ahead and I bought these paint pots. I got two white and two black. And these can be used to do all kinds of things. You can do skulls. You can do um, sugar skulls, which is... All kinds of stuff you can mix and match so I'm excited to do to play with that Halloween is my favorite holiday so that's why I go all out then I went ahead and got two highlighters these are their two new highlighters this is the mega glow highlighting powder I've got this one in not your basic witch and this if you got it haunt it they're so cute with their names I freaking love them but yes yeah, so I got this one and this one is like a black with like a shimmer on it so this will be good to contrast when you do your contour maybe or above your contour for like a skull just to glam up your skull if you want to do like a really glamorous skull or something like that and then this one is like a pinky purple type of shimmer and this is good for like unicorn fairy mermaid -y vibes you know you can do like a vast amount of things with this so we got those two and then I went ahead and added to the pigments that I already had so I went ahead and I got five more pigments so I already had blue purple and gold um, I forget the names of them I think gold is just gold crown and then the blue I believe is unicorn wishes and then the purple is I forgot the purple one but nonetheless so I got the green pigment which is Celtic glow I got like a lilac-y kind of color, which is Pegasus Flutter. I got the white, which is You're My Boo. They're so cute. This one is like a deep hot pinky color, and this is Pinkaboo. And then this one is a black, and this is Spellbound. Or I should say like a deep black, uh, light charcoal, dark gray type of thing. And this is in Spellbound. So I got those. Then I went ahead and got, they came out with a series of liners, which you guys know I'm super obsessed with liners. So I had to get, I didn't get all of them because two, four, six. I got six of them and I believe they have nine. So I got a blue. Of course I have to get blue. Love blue. And this is in Electric Blue Moon. I got a purple. You know me. And this is called Purple Poison. I got a gray, which is a cauldron metal. I got a white, which is wicked white. I got a pink, which is too cute to spook. And then I got the black, which is gravedigger. 
and I'm excited this one these are all metallic liners so I'm excited to see how they're going to perform you guys know that I have the NYX vivid brights which is more of a matte formula and I did try all of them out and a few of them were extra drying so I did put them on the side um, but I'll use them for other things. I do use the purple and the blue because those are a lot less drying than the other ones. I don't know why, but they are. On to the next. So they also came out with a series of liquid lips. So I just got a few of them because I believe they came out with eight or ten of them. So I got a deep blue because I don't have this color in any of my lipstick collection. And this color is in the name Darkness Falls. And this is a matte lip, so I'm excited. And then I got a metallic lip. This one is in the color Shady Witch, which is this is limited edition. This They're all limited edition. Um, this one is a metallic pink, and this is Pink Ear Poison. I love this color. And then last but not least, this one is another matte lipstick, and this one isn't... This one isn't um, limited edition. This is called Loose Change, and this is just like a gray color. And I'm obsessed with gray in itself, so I wanted to see how this would look on my lips. You know, you know, play around with color. And then on to the next. So they also have just regular, their regular bullet lipsticks. These are the Wet n Wild, just their regular lipstick, the bullet lipsticks. And I got two colors. I've got Eerie Onyx and London Skies. And I believe these are limited edition as well because I've not seen these colors before. But it's just a black and a gray. So I'm excited to play with, uh, with those. And then these are limited edition ones. These came out for Halloween. These are also, um, these are irides iridescent lip colors. So one of them is in the color Unicorn Soul and the other one is in Immortal Tears. And it's like a pearlescent holographic like white and a pearlescent holographic like pale blue and I'm super stoked to play with that now the last two items that I got here as far as makeup this one is a wet n wild mega six lip gloss and this is in bronzeberry and I just kind of picked this up just because I've never tried their mega lip mega slicks lip glosses so I just picked this up and then this one is their Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter. And I've been looking at this for so long. And I was like, you know, I never play around with liquid liner. Or excuse me, liquid highlight. So why not? So this is in the color 305A Rosy and Ready. So I bought that to play around with. So yeah. That's all the makeup that I got. Now, you guys know that I am insanely, insanely obsessed with ears. So these are limited edition Halloween ears. These are like headbands, like the cat ears. These are Halloween ones, and I got this one for three dollars. It's so pretty. I also got this one, which I'm super set obsessed. These are all they're just three bucks, and I got this one that has like red roses on it. Oh my gosh! I mean, I know I probably could make these, but they're so freaking cute. So I got this one for three dollars. And then this one that's my absolute favorite one it has like that veil type of thing see like that little fishnet type thing this and it has like little fishnets here and then it has the black um, flowers oh I love it so so pretty so so pretty and there you go those were my three cat ears for Halloween I got those also at Walmart. So this was my little haul from Walmart. This is basically all Halloween. I think the only thing that is not Halloween are these four items. But yeah, I mean, this is stuff that I'm going to use throughout the year, but it is what it is. So last, but certainly not least, my Bath and Body Works bag. This is probably the place that I bought like the least amount of things. So actually, I did buy one makeup item, and this was from Victoria's Secret, and this is because I didn't have this color in my collection. This is the Velvet Matte Lip Cream, or Cream Lip Stain. This is in the color Wanted, which is like a cool toned brown color, so I'm excited to play with this. That's the only thing I got from Victoria's Secret. That's the only thing that's makeup-wise in this bag. So, I did go ahead and get 
for the fall because I just bought a few of their three wick candles. So I got this um, pretty uh, candle holder. It's very fall like. I mean, I don't like things that have like crazy designs, but I really liked this. It's kind of simple. So I bought that, and that's to go up there. Then I got. I thought these were like the cutest little things ever. I'm obsessed with their candles. So I went ahead and I got these limited edition ones and they're Halloween based. They're so cute. This one's called Midnight Blue Citrus. And this has the fragrance of Juicy Citrus, Magic Spring Water and Midnight Mango. And it's so, so, so yummy. Like so yummy, so cute. I got that one. Then this one is Vampire Blood. This scent has Blood Red Strawberries, Night Blooming Jasmine, and Dark Plum. And you can really smell that strawberry run through. Oh, I love it. I love fruity candles. And last but not least is Pumpkin Apple. And this has the scents of a Red Fall Apple, Jackal Lantern, and Fresh Cinnamon. So if you guys don't know, I love Halloween, but I don't love the fall. Because I don't like it because it's cool and cold or it starts to cold. I don't really like the cold like that. And I don't like anything that's pumpkin, cinnamon, apple, any of that stuff. I don't like that. So I don't like the pumpkin spice lattes from, um, what is that, Starbucks. I don't like any of that stuff. I am just not into fall. I don't like pumpkin cinnamon anything like that like candles or stuff like that i don't like that i like fruity stuff like i love spring and summer because i love those fresh like scents um i don't really do florals as much because florals give me headaches but um yeah this one you kind of get that cinnamon back smell but it's not as strong as like some things that i smell like as soon as i got into bath and body works like it was like bang fall smacked me in the face like there was so much cinnamon and apple and pumpkin stuff going around like i just was like oh my god get me the hell out of this joint it was just hard to get in there and get out because everything was just so fall like and it just makes me like want to vomit sorry but this doesn't have like that strong pumpkin-y spicy cinnamon -y thing you smell as soon as you open it you smell that nice juicy fresh red apple smell and then you get like that hint of cinnamon at the very end but it's not like a strong cinnamon scent so that's why i got this one but yeah i got those three limited edition candles because i love these to burn when i'm doing my makeup and then last but not least in this little one i got these beautifully says for the perfect wash this is a spot spa head wrap for at home facials being that I am starting to do facials and doing the sheet masks and cleansing and trying to really take care of my skin, getting into skincare because I am getting older and, you know, wrinkles are starting to come out and I want to make sure that my skin is nice and supple and plump and not uh, drying and really, really, you know, out there and nice and pretty. So I got one of these and this is in little cat ears. You guys know I'm obsessed with cats. So yeah, and I got that. And that was pretty much it. That is finally the end of this crazy, crazy summer haul. So if you enjoyed hanging out with me and opening all my boxes and seeing every single item that I got this summer, then please like this video and give it a thumbs up. Like it, comment, share, um, subscribe to my channel. Obviously, before you leave here, subscribe. Go, subscribe, press the button. And press that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload videos, which is three times a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me on this beautiful day. And thank you so much for the support. If you guys have any ideas, any comments, any suggestions, any critiques, please let me know and write it down in the comments. And I will get to them as soon as I can because you do know that I am a mom of five and I'm always super busy with them. So I try to get to all the comments as fast as I can. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't wait for Halloween to come. I can't wait to start using all this new makeup. And I guess that's it. I will see all of you beauties in my next video. Hi! Hi.
Wait, what did I miss? 